In Florida, a ballot initiative to legalize recreational marijuana has sparked a heated debate within the state's medical cannabis community. The largest medical marijuana company supports Amendment 3, which would legalize recreational pot for adults 21 and older. However, some of the 2,000 state-certified medical marijuana doctors warn that this could jeopardize access for Florida's 882,000 medical marijuana patients. They fear that an influx of recreational users could lead to shortages of specific strains and products needed for medical treatment. Dr. Michelle Beasley and other doctors express concern over a poison pill clause in the existing medical marijuana law, which could expire if another cannabis-related amendment is adopted. This provision gives the GOP-led legislature, which has been resistant to recreational marijuana, more control over the industry's future regulations. Supporters of Amendment 3, like the Smart and Safe Florida Committee, argue that the amendment includes protections for medical marijuana patients and doctors. They claim the sunset provision would be in violation of the 2016 Medical Pot Amendment. Nonetheless, state economists predict that a new regulatory framework will be necessary if the measure passes. As the November vote approaches, polling shows strong support for Amendment 3, with 66% of registered voters in favor. The medical community remains divided, with some fearing a decline in patient care and others hopeful for a unified regulatory structure. The final decision now rests with Florida voters.